Christmas it's coming. What a fabulous time. So far, I've made this uh, tatin Yulog, Puche de Noël façon tatin, and this fabulous Christ Stollen or Strollen, a traditional German fruit bread of nuts, candied fruits, and spices. So, first, I am going to make a crisp ginger biscuit. That's going to be the base of the house. This gingerbread cookie dough is just perfect. Very easy to make, easy to work with. So hey, this is Christmas time. Let's have some fun. And that's definitely something you can make with your kids. So first, dry ingredients. Flour, baking powder, sugar, salt, and allspice. And I'm gonna give a few pulses. Oui, monsieur. Then I'm going to add the butter and throw in uh, the honey, molasses, and eggs. Mix to combine, scraping down the sides of the bowl as it goes. Magnifique, papa! Look at that. Very good. You know, when I was a kid, every time my mom would make a batter cookie dough, I was always around, and that served to me why I got interested in food transfer this beautiful cookie dough onto your uh, cutting board, making sure that though all of the ingredients are well incorporated, wrap up and chill. So now we have plenty of time to make a mock-up of your gingerbread house out of paperboard. Well, this is an optional step, but you know what? it saves time in the end. So not only you can reuse it indefinitely, but also it's gonna give you the right dimension for every part you need. So in the end, you're gonna save time and cookie dough. Good news, you will find everything you need to know at brunoskitchen.net. And yet, this is just an example. You don't have to do the whole thing. Just take what you need and enjoy the journey. This how-to gingerbread home making process offers sharp results. What I like to do first is to roll out all cookie dough into thin sheets and freeze. Then when ready, you pre-bake them one sheet at a time and then you make your cuts. And finish baking. Well, here is the trick and you probably have already figured this out. If you uh, cut the parts first from the raw cookie dough, it will spread, creating an even result. And you don't want that. You want something neat and clean. Well, you may end up with extra uh, scraps doing so, but that's okay. Save them for backup and snacks. Just a friendly reminder, uh, if you uh, use a sharp knife or a cutter over a silicone mat, go easy. So when you have everything ready to go, the walls, the roof, the chimney, and the wood-fired oven, not sure if Santa would fit in, by the way, but that's another story. Um, I'm gonna do the royal icing, glass royal, a sweet edible plaster, widely used indeed in cake decorating. Just beat to stiff picks, egg whites, powder, sugar, and a few drops of lemon juice. Cover with a wet towel and set aside. Now we are going to build our adorable gingerbread house. And guess what? That's the secret ingredient. Gelatin sheets. That's gonna mimic the windows. How cool is that? Let's play the window contractor and use royal icing as you would do so with sealant and place with a gentle pressure the pre-cut gelatin sheets over each wall. So those are for the first tower, pentagon shape, for walls with windows and the fifth plane. And repeat until done. As soon as the windows are set, you're gonna enjoy yourself now. It's all decorating time. So the wall for the main house, towers, roofs, using Christmas theme tensils, pochoir. You can also create handmade decor, such as slate roof tiles and dots. Next step, assembling, building. So I'm gonna start and glue the first tower, the tallest one. I guess the second one is exactly the same principle. 
as well as the wood-fired oven and the cheminée. I'm using the pre-cut parts and some scraps. Then the roof and the main house, which could have been the little house on the prairie. All my childhood. Gosh, I'm gonna start crying. This is actually my first gingerbread house. I'm telling you, Hansel and Gretel would be so proud of me. Remember? A well-known German fairy tale recorded by the Brothers Grimm and published in 1812. Although gingerbread house originated in Germany during the 16th century. Amazing, isn't it? You know, it's supposed to be winter time, right? Snowing, freezing, so you better shut the doors to keep your family safe, warm and cozy. And let's heat up the wood-fired oven to bake some bread. You know my dream, right? It's to live in this place. Well, it's not for rent, no for sale. I hope you have enjoyed this one-of-a-kind gingerbread house episode. I guess you have a wide range of options to make your holiday unforgettable. Just go to brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe, like my page on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest at Bruno Albuz. Happy holidays and see you soon.